Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today we are taking a look at... Oh, that's right. Pato Awards 2022 Aero McLaren um, SP, I think is what it is. Was it Aero McLaren SP? I can't remember the exact name of the team because it changed a couple times. Um, but yeah, it's the Aero McLaren car for uh, Pato Award from the 2022 season. I'm trying to see if they got the team name on here. Yep, Aero McLaren SP still. Uh, but yes... Oh my gosh, he's he was born in 1999. I didn't realize how young he was. Um, so yeah, not a very not very old. He's only 23, 24. Um, but yeah, so there's the Aero McLaren car from last year. Uh, this is actually the car that won at Iowa, but he had the short track wing and the short track wing. It was the short track slash road course wing package or setup, whatever you want to call it. Um, but we do have a high V IndyCar race weekend event pin. There we go. That's the, the race weekend pin. Uh, but he split the weekend with Joseph Newgarden last year, and then Newgarden got both of them this year. Uh, I believe he got a podium this year, though, so that does help. Um, but, yeah, so I picked this car up. Uh, it was a little tough to find because last year's cars, I, I didn't realize, once Indy cars sell out for the year, they, they really do get kind of tough to find. But I was able to find one. We do have the McLaren orange here. We've got our number five. We've got arrow on the, both the top and side of the side pods. We do have the McLaren blue accents here on the rims and a little stripe down here on the side. Uh, we'll obviously get a little bit more of that on next year's Kyle Larson car, so I can't wait to see how he runs with McLaren at the Indy 500. Uh, we got Sparco, we got Aero, NTT, we got Mission Chevy, number five, Aero again. And then the windscreen, we've got Aero up top with Lucas Oil on each side. Uh, so yeah, overall, the car is extremely crisp. I mean, it just looks super fresh. Like, it is blue, it is orange, and it is black. There is no other colors you will find on this car in terms of the paint scheme. We got the blue, we got the black, we got black rims, we got a black or a blue outer ring, then we got black rims, black tire, black wing, orange, orange, blue, orange, black, blue, orange, black, blue, you know, it's, there's no other color, and so this thing looks absolutely crisp, like, just sharp, and there's just something about, it. I think it's the matte black, maybe, or the matte color to it with the orange, that just really pops nicely, but it's a really good looking car, obviously, like I said, I would love to have the correct wings, uh, for the Iowa race, but overall, I would rather have the correct scheme than the correct wing, so, I could have gotten this year's car. I think this one, this year's has the right wing on it, but it didn't have the right paint scheme. So I wanted to get this scheme because this is the one that I saw win at Iowa last year. Um, and that was the last win, I think, up to date of Pato's career. We have yet to see him win, or he didn't win a single race here in 2023. So uh, I expect a good bounce back year, though. McLaren had just not, the McLaren as a whole didn't win a race this year. They were very competitive. Uh, Rossi and, uh, I believe, Award were top 10 in points. So um, I think we'll, we'll see him back again next year, but... Uh, anyway, guys, that's really all there is to show on this um, on this car. Like I guess I didn't show underneath. Yep, still has 2017 on there. But um, but yeah, that's really pretty much all there is to show on this car. Let me know your thoughts on the IndyCar Greenlight 118th scales if you've picked any of them up yourself, and for what reason you would pick them up, like maybe Kyle Larson running the Indy 500 next year. Uh, but other than that, guys, that'll pretty much wrap up this video. Thank you all for watching. We will see you in the next Diecast review.